The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is now added to the list of COVID-19 vaccinations that Virginians can choose to sign up for. But how does your choice affect the appointment process? Our Matthew Foltz is live in Richmond with more information on this. Matthew? Well, yes, yeah, Cheryl, that's right. Health experts with Richmond and Henrico Health District say that thousands got their Johnson & Johnson vaccine yesterday and say that they're hoping that more people can get it very soon. Vaccine handouts are on the rise across the Commonwealth, allowing for more people in Phase B to get vaccinated, along with the new vaccine, Johnson & Johnson. Yesterday was our first Johnson & Johnson vaccination event, which was really exciting for us. Kat Long is with the Richmond Henrico Health District. She says on Monday they were able to administer the new vaccine, which only requires one dose at the Richmond Raceway. We uh, gave the vaccine to over... Uh, 2,200 individuals, uh, particularly seniors. Long says with more shipments of the vaccine coming in, it's allowing everyone in phase B to now get the vaccine. Her advice is for everyone to register online where you will be able to select from which vaccine you want to get and encourages folks not to wait on a specific vaccine. Because ultimately they're all very, very effective in terms of uh, preventing deaths, hospitalizations, and serious illness. They all have very similar side effects, which tend to be very mild if you do get them. In the meantime, she's asking for others who aren't eligible to have patients. We've seen increases in our supply. We used to receive about 6,000 per week, and now we're receiving about 10,000 per week. And we anticipate that the further we get into this, the more vaccines we're going to get on a weekly basis, and the faster we will be at vaccinating the entire population. Now, Long also adds that if you have registered to be on the lookout for an email confirmation, you can also check the Virginia Department of Health's website for your status on your registration. We'll have a link to that website along with the phone number you can call later today at WTVR.com. Working for you this afternoon in Richmond, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News.